Hi, I'm Sam Thring here, standing on our, in our wool shed at Blue Hills on the Victorian South Australian border, about three and a half hours east of uh, Adelaide. Blue Hills is a merino stud and it's also a commercial operation. Um, we're roughly running about 6,000 commercial use and 1,000 stud use. Um, we're around about a 19 to 21 micron average, um, cutting 8 kilograms of wool. I love doing this because I know that the um, that I have I can influence this industry by my genetics in 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 um, producing the type of the wool that the market really wants, I suppose. And it's it's a fibre that is so diverse, and uh, yeah, there's nothing like it really. What what kind of animal can what kind of thing can you shear at one harvest collect? and then 12 months time turn around and off that same animal producing the same quality stuff. So, um, yeah, producing merino wool is, you know, that's what I love doing and um, I guess spending all money on genetics and, and, um, and, and trying to improve every year wool that basically is worn by people throughout the world and, and that's what I do and we harvest it off the sheep's back and goes to places like China where they sell it to the top designers I suppose that use it in the labels and, and one time we were used to wearing those itchy jumpers at school that put a lot of people off and now we've got wool wearing sportswear you know famous clubs like Manchester United you know, tried it out and, and sportswear and and um, yeah the feel you know it's so much easier you can throw on a washing machine now as whereas once upon a time you couldn't I remember being a, 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 a backpacker through Europe when I was so 18 years old and, and I needed a haircut and my auntie's something to do with fashion, she has something to do with fashion and, and uh, I, uh, she put me onto a sister who I met who was a, who was a hairdresser at Michael John's Hairdressing in London and, and I needed a haircut and it was normally a couple hundred pounds for a haircut from there for a bloke and she said I'll tell you what, come around to this girl's house, she'll cut your hair um, and um, so we went around there to get my hair cut and anyway I had my hair cut I'm sitting down as I walked in the house I realised there was records everywhere and um, I uh, had my hair cut and I was sitting down having a few beers with this guy and we got onto music because I love music and we started talking about music and he said what bands are you into and things and I said oh I love the Chemical Brothers and he said oh, well hello welcome I'm one of the DJs from the Chemical Brothers and I just couldn't believe it but the fact was that he was more interested in, in me being part of this industry where he's never met someone like this before. Yeah, so it's funny, I suppose, you can be in London and get a, get a buzz out of being a wool producer. 